From Japan to America and everywhere in between, women warriors have been cutting, shooting, swiping, and smiting their enemies for eons. Here are five of the toughest female fighters to ever live. Kutalun Khan The great-great-granddaughter of the formidable Genghis Khan himself, Kutalun Khan was a princess with a knack for dominating all the men around her. In appearance, Kutalun was described as powerful and imposing, but also beautiful and much sought after by men. Born in 1260, she was raised as a warrior in the Mongolian court alongside her 14 brothers. A highly skilled archer, horse rider, and wrestler, Kutalun outperformed all her siblings in the martial arts and was the favorite child of her doting father, Kaidu Khan, who valued her as an advisor and general. On the battlefield, she fought side by side with her father and was known for brazenly dashing towards the enemy. Seizing a man like a hawk pounces on a bird and carrying him back to her dad. As an illegible bachelorette, Kutalun was very picky with men and would only marry if the suitor could defeat her in a wrestling match. In order to have the privilege of facing off against her, she demanded the potential husband wager horses. Because she was never defeated, Kutalun amassed as many as 10,000 horses, dying an unmarried woman in 1306. Queen Boudicca An icon of British legend, Boudicca was the queen of the native Iceni people who rose up in revolt against the Romans. Contemporary records describe her as a tall and terrifying figure, with a harsh voice and a mass of tawny hair that fell to her hips. Boudicca most famously presided over the Iceni rebellion of 60 AD after the death of her husband, Prasutagus, who bequeathed his kingdom to Emperor Nero and his two daughters. Instead, a campaign of conquest was launched by the Romans and Boudicca was brutally flogged. Driven by revenge, the ferocious queen, who was known to slay her enemies in a horse-drawn chariot, led a devastating counterattack against occupying forces at Camula Dunham, where her armies completely wiped out the Roman 9th Legion, massacring 70,000 in the process. Boudicca spared no one, ordering her enemies to be crucified, hanged, or burnt to death. The scale and brutality of the defeat sent shockwaves throughout the empire. In response, a Roman relief force of 10,000 was sent to crush Boudicca, who commanded an army of 230,000. Although greatly outnumbered, the Romans were able to lure the British rebels into a defile, cut off their entryways with carts, and slaughter 80,000 Iceni. Although Boudicca escaped the carnage, she died soon after by poison. Ludmila Pavlichenko Known as Lady Death to her enemies, Ludmila Pavlichenko was among the deadliest snipers of World War II, being one of 2,000 female sharpshooters enlisted by the Soviet Union. An unassuming woman with brown hair and a penetrating gaze, Pavlichenko first distinguished herself in 1941 during the siege of Odessa, where she notched up 187 kills and was promoted to senior sergeant. Forced to retreat to Sevastopol with her unit after, by May 1942, her kill count had risen to a remarkable 257, enough to advance her up the ranks to lieutenant. Now recognized by all her comrades as a master shooter, she was next ordered to engage in a one-to-one -one duels with enemy snipers. Pavlichenko excelled at the assignment, never losing a single battle and defeating 36 marksmen. After clocking up 309 confirmed kills, Russia's most skilled markswoman was taken out of action when a mortar round struck her face in June 1942. For the rest of the war, Pavlichenko toured America on behalf of the Soviet Union to rally public support for the defense of Russia. Tomo Gozen, translating to warrior woman, the Honor Musha was a collective of female samurais first established in Japan by Empress Jingu in 200 AD, who personally led her armies into battle against the kingdoms of ancient Korea. One of the most fearless of their ranks was Tomo Gozen, an expert archer, swordswoman, and horse rider who participated in the 1180 to 1185 Genpei War. Described as a beautiful woman with white skin, long hair, and charming features, Gozen was also lauded as a warrior worth a thousand that even demon or god could not outmatch. In 1184, 
Gozen led a contingent of 300 male warriors against a 2,000 strong enemy force and was only one of five left standing by the end of the battle. Later on, at the Battle Awazu, she fought and defeated the Musashi clan leader, taking his head as a trophy. Although not much is known about her life after, Gozen paved the way for the Onomusha class, proving that women could be equally capable samurais as men. Lozen The sister of legendary Apache chief Victorio, Lozen was an indigenous princess who dedicated her life to the defense of her Native American tribe. Born in 1840, from a young age unlike most women in her clan, Lozen, which means dexterous horse thief, chose the warrior's path, becoming an expert rider and stealer of horses. As a grown woman, she rejected all marriage proposals, instead preferring to be wed to the war club, spear, bow, and rifle she had trained so hard to master. Gifted in the art of herbal medicine, she also had the ability to detect enemy movements, which she activated by performing a ritual dance. In 1877, as part of an effort to return to their reservation in Ojo Caliente, New Mexico, Lozen took part in raids against the US Army. Finding time to accompany the women and children of the tribe across the Rio Grande River before returning to combat. Later on, she escorted a woman and her newborn baby trapped deep within enemy territory, stealing a Mexican cavalry horse and dodging bullets to escape. Throughout the 1880s, Lozen continued to resist American and Mexican oppressors, being one of the last Native Americans to surrender to US forces before dying of tuberculosis in 1889 while on the way to prison. Indeed, not all female warriors' deaths were glamorous affairs, but they were certainly honorable and a testament to the strength of that one half of humanity whose battlefield skills should not be underestimated. <laughs>